way for Hollywood. Life is a banquet, and most poor suckers are starving to death. Oh, hello there. I am Stan the Movie Man, and this is my review of Glass, the movie that's almost 20 years in the making. Uh, it stars Bruce Willis, James McAvoy, Samuel L. Jackson, Sarah Paulson, uh, we got Anya Taylor-Joy, Spencer Treat Clark, and more. It is the story, the continuing story, of one Mr. David Dunn, played by Bruce Willis. We met him in the film Unbreakable in 2000. Uh, David Dunn has uh, super power, super strength, uh, and uh, he is an avenger for those who are taken advantage of in the world. Uh, he is still out there doing that stuff. Uh, he is, I, b I believe the name the media gives him is the Overseer. Uh, and he is, uh, he, he, he helps people who are mugged or otherwise taken advantage of in society. Now, uh, Kevin Wendell Crumb, who was played by James McAvoy, who we first met in the film Split, uh, is, uh, is, is loose, uh, and his persona, uh, the Beast, uh, he has 24 I individual, uh, personalities, but the most dangerous one is the Beast. Uh, he has kidnapped four cheerleaders and is holding them in an old factory. Uh, David, with the help of his son Joseph, played by Spencer Treat Clark, who is, by the way, the same actor who played his son in Unbreakable, um, uh, helps him find the warehouse where the women are kept. He sets them free, and he and uh, uh, the Beast engage in battle. Uh, when they wind up going out a window uh, and crashing to the ground, both standing up unhurt, that is when the police presence is realized, and they are being led by Dr. Ellie Staple, played by Sarah Paulson. She is a psychiatrist and puts them into a mental hospital where she specializes in people who have delusions of being superheroes. Also in this particular mental hospital is one Mr. Elijah Price, played by Samuel L. Jackson, also from the film Unbreakable. He is Mr. Glass and the man who uh, masterminded the train wreck that uh, David Dunn was the only survivor of. Um, in this mental hospital, she's trying to convince them that they are really just average people who have either a brain injury or some sort of delusion caused by their past, and she is attempting to make sure that uh, they realize that they're just average people because that's what she believes, but as we all know, None of these three people are average in any way, shape, or form. Um, Glass is kind of a weird movie in that I don't think writer-director M. Night Shyamalan is quite sure what the movie is supposed to be about. It seems to have a pretty good idea at the beginning. But then, as it moves along through the story, it starts to become very unfocused. Now, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, so I shan't give away too much of the plot, uh, especially after once they all arrive at the hospital. But um, it, it's, it's like he, he changed his mind halfway through the writing process, or maybe even the making of the film process, and and it, it becomes about something different. Um, and again, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, I enjoyed the film, but I think I would have enjoyed it more if he had taken one tack and stayed with it. Uh, because this sort of diffuse storytelling kind of loses its punch as it goes along. Um, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to tell you about this to kind of explain my thinking, but I don't want to ruin it. I get yelled at on the internet a lot about ruining movies, so I'm not going to do that. I will, however, say that um, the combination of 
Willis, McAvoy, and Jackson in these roles, uh, having them all together in one movie is brilliant. I really enjoyed the setup for it, uh, and of course we get a big fight scene that you see parts of in the trailer, but even that is kind of cut up in a way that, that it, 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 it loses some of its, some of its excitement, and it loses actually a lot of its, of its excitement. It just, it, it just, there's, there's, it, it's like he lost focus. Like, uh, maybe he's just not used to shooting action because a lot of his movies kind of are slower, uh, more of a, uh, more of a storytelling than a, an action picture. But, uh, yeah, the, the sustain, the, the action scene about two thirds of the way through the movie is, uh, is poorly done edited, poorly shot, uh, things take far too long uh, if we're supposed to believe the Beast is, is wanting to destroy David uh, as the trailer would lead us to believe. So, um, I, I like the movie, but it could have been a lot better. It could have been more focused if he, if Shyamalan had taken, uh, decided on one thing for the story to be, then I, it would have been better. As it is, it's like he's, you know, about halfway through the movie starting to set up another sequel, which is fine. I, I would like to see more of this world he's created. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think, um, I, it, it, it just isn't, there's so much I can't tell you that it makes it difficult to explain myself. Leave it at this. It starts out great. It kind of stumbles to an end, and I, I just don't think he knew what story he wanted to tell, so he told more than one. Uh, I think the second story we discover in uh, the in in the movie is probably the better one, um, and I wish he had told that one with the first part of the story about combining them in one place, uh, that part would have been a nice addition to the second story he tells. Again, I'm sorry, I just don't want to spoil it for you. I did enjoy the film a great deal. It just doesn't quite hold together the way I would have wanted, and that's why I am giving uh, Glass, I am giving three stars. Go to WIMZ.com if you want to see my review of uh, The Upside, if you want to check that out. You can find that in the blog section. Go to StandTheMovieMan.com if you want to see my complete review of Glass. Uh, check out The Fractured Frame, a podcast where some friends of mine and I get together and discuss the latest news in streaming, TV, and movies. You can find that wherever you get your podcasts. Follow me on Twitter, at MovieManStan. And you can send emails to me, StanTheMovieMan123, at gmail.com. Till next time. Later.